Hello friends and pandas and welcome back to the shop. It's your productivity partner, Thub. Now, I really want to bring in a pile of scrap metal because it's kind of piling up and I have a few bins that really need to get out of my way. So I need to sort them, I need to pick through them, I need to maximize the value. Now we tried this once before, it... I felt it was a little slow. Uh, the concept was, I'm still confident in the concept of an hour of scrap metal recycling accountability buddy sort of scenario. So that's what I'm inviting you to join me on this time. However, I think the pacing was a little off if I'm being honest. It just didn't feel punchy. So this time, I'm going to move the camera around as much as possible and try and move through as many things as possible as quickly as possible. This may be a little distracting, and if so, uh, oops, but I gotta get stuff done. So if you gotta get stuff done, pick a task, pause the video, get all your stuff ready, because preparedness is step one, and let's get some work done, shall we? It takes as long as it takes. And then we'll make some money. Sound good? I... I'm gonna start with this! Woo. Yes. This thing. Well, we've got some copper, we've got some wire. I think this chunky thing here is brass. What's the bottom? Yeah. So it's all attached to a steel plate. How do we begin? Well... Is that? That's cast aluminum. Well, that'll be fun. Hmm. Interesting puzzle here. Yes, indeedy. There we are. Really should keep these bolts. Whatever. Wait. Why is this? Does this? It does. All right. Um. Oh, that's that is steel. Why am I? Is that piece steel? Copper or brass. Worth it. Just gonna release every little wire. See, a lot of this just looks like steel, which is great because it means I don't have to care about getting every little bit off. There. Freedom. This little key thing, probably really valuable. Don't know why, keys aren't even brass. Number two, insulator. That leaves us with some choices. We've got a bit of uh, <coughs> cast aluminum and a motor and these things. These have tiny bits of silver on them. Put those in the bin. And this thing, I don't want to spend that long, so... There we go. Looks pretty good. Not mad about it. Is it worth the effort removing that piece of cast? But I am gonna do it as lazy as possible. Which in this situation means hoping this little cheaty face tool works great. Okay. 
certainly seems to. See, this is why it's not worth it. Like, there's so much steel on it, it's gonna go in as dirty anyway. And there it is. A steel plate. See, not only is it probably not worth doing, it's making a huge mess. You know, it's probably gonna imbue some, uh, some water resistance onto this table. Yeah, I'm gonna let that one drain out for a little while and maybe still take it apart. It actually doesn't look that hard, but um, this one. Ooh, this one's heavy, it's got some mass. <laughs> I think I'm just going to separate all the cables. Do those another time. Okay, this thing's actually kind of cool. I wonder if it works. It works. <laughs> I just broke it off the stand. Okay, well, I mean, it still works. It's a little dirty. Probably could have used that, but it's broken now. Is a little motor. That is losing. Okay, it's cable. So that leaves us with a couple of these chunky bits of brass. Now some of these are aluminum and some of them are stainless. I'm actually pretty sure most of them are stainless. Easy way to check. There, Sparky. We're just going to remove all of the ones that have the same weight. Put them in the stainless bin. So what is that? I guess these are... The next biggest thing. These are all aluminum. This one is stainless, so I might actually keep that for, uh, I don't know, something. So it looks like they're all aluminum except for this little pin here and this weight. So I need a very small punch to get those out. I'm not sure it's gonna happen. Those are all the same. One piece of clean aluminium. So what am I going to do with the rest of these? Let's think about that in a second. These are... Those are all stainless. Then why does it have rust? Oh, it's just the... Got that little clip there. There we go. Are these all? So that is stainless. These are actually brass. Stainless, aluminum. What about this big kahuna? That is 316. Decent. Clean brass. These. Uh, let me think about it. Alright, I came to a decision. I started drilling them out and uh, decided that being as aluminum is brittle, bashing them is the solution right now. It turns out one of them had a little cavity here which I opened up and it was shaky and I had to pull out a little wad of some kind of, 
I don't know, stainless steel cotton batting. And inside was little lead beads. And these bits, unfortunately, they're magnetic. I still think they're 400 series stainless, but it's not worth the time it takes. So, steel pile. Explosion hazard. Well, that's very exciting. This one's only partially stainless. Stainless motor. And now, this thing. Mechanical encouragement. The first one's the hard one. There. That is stainless. And this one's just a little bit easier because do this. Woo! Aluminum and stainless. Clean workspace could go a long ways. stability tester. There's nothing in here. I've gone through them before. Separate the wires just like the other ones. That is just an empty case. A hygrometer. I don't care about the rest of it. The case is nice. Emulsion stability. These ones I like. There's nothing good in here, and the case is too custom to to reuse. But this thing, I've got a bin for things like this that maybe should be sold. Aluminum. Ooh, another one of these. Now it's clean, whatever it is. This one looks like brass. Some more of these. Yeah, we. I'm not gonna say ripped off, but we kind of. Yeah, we kind of got ripped off on these last time. Oh wait, I said I was gonna show you what I liked so much about these. Hold on. Grab all of the obvious steel. And fiddle with that later. Anyway, these things. The reason why I like these. Woo! There. I'll show you. Those are solid lumps of silver. Those little conductor end bits. They're soldered onto something that's not silver. The mass of those is pretty good compared to those silver buttons we're always getting excited about. I swear these are like the only reason it makes sense for me to collect silver. Without these, my collection would be sad. Now, 
Let's play a game called Brass or Stainless. It's a fairly simple game where we hit something with the grinder and see if it sparks or if it's gold in color. This did neither, so it's probably aluminum. That was an easy one. Now we've got a pile of brass pieces and a pile of stainless or possibly aluminum pieces. Another dental pick. We can pull out any of these O-rings. I think these ones are... Yeah, these ones are kind of a waste of time, but... Uh... These ones are totally worth it because they are big and heavy. Brass, brass, brass. Oh. I'm just going to finish this up real quick. Now we're cooking. It's kind of cool. We're gonna want an inverter. We'll put that aside. You never know. Clean piece of cast aluminium. Nice piece of steel full of grease. This is like a heat controller. Okay. I tried to knock those little uh, heater thingies out of the other ones of these and it didn't work. Um, this is a big pile of more of these, except most of these are aluminum. Um, this is kind of, oh, sweet. That is a nice piece of aluminum. I'll find the homes for these, one sec. There, I cleared it off, sort of. Um, this thing might be brass. The outside is, in fact, brass. Easy brass. What is this? Mostly not brass with a little bit of yes brass. Ingenuity. Yeah, that is actually uh, a zinc aluminum alloy. This one's fun, came with a note, need new adapter. Maybe? Hmm. Who knows what's wrong? <coughs> Figure that out later. And then what is this? Versus Stat 3. It's like a data interface for some sort of equipment. I don't know. Um, but because we're here and this thing's here, sometimes I just skip these pH testers and people might wonder why. Obviously this isn't the exciting side of the board. There. Couple ICs, couple resistors, couple uh, 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 potentiometers, couple tiny lights. There may be gold in these flat packs. You never know. I'll save that one. But like, this is from the 90s. It's not that kind of equipment. Now I will say these things I kind of like because they do have a couple, um, ooh, this one's tight. They do have a couple tantalum capacitors on the board which are pretty easy to recover. 
Well, fingers crossed for that last clip. The battery died while it was recording. We'll see. I was getting a little fatigued anyway, so I stopped there, and this is round two for me. Same video for you. Um, ooh, if you need a break, and you're actually following along doing something, not a bad time. You go ahead whenever you need to. Uh, this, this, this bin right here. This is the one I've been looking forward to. It's supposed to just be this bin, right? Uh, this is the bin that I put all the future thub can deal with that one stuff. Um, you can see it's time for future thub to jump in here. Okay. There it is. Some of these are just not going to be worth the effort though. Like uh, these things. Those are all riveted together. And they've got the teensiest little bit of wire, so... Not really. Yeah, that'll go straight into the steel pile. I'm not gonna make that special an effort. More effort than it was worth, possibly. This one, we got some copper and brass. Straight onto the bench. Whoop. That's going on the stripping pile. Y'all are telling me these are super easy to do in the vise. I... We'll see. This one says it's dead. Maybe we'll do that one today. Wire bin. Wire. This one we'll definitely do today. Look at that. That is disgusting. Nice. Got a fair few wires. Have a look. What is this? Oh, it's another one of those. Beautiful. I'll show you what's in there just so nobody's... You remember the big, the big, big stirrer? Yeah, this is... Let's have a look, see what's in there. Copper tube. Down here on the bench. And these ones, all right. We'll give eBay a try. Just a one shot, that's it. Sometimes it's the only way. These need to be picked through. These are magnesium, which I know sounds weird. I don't think they even weigh a pound, so I'm gonna put them with the laptop pile. These are pretty much all gonna be dirty aluminum, but uh, we'll have a closer look. A couple little bits of copper. I believe the rest of these, those are just mixed wires. A little bit of number one. All right. So we're moving the easiest things first. This thing's pretty big and chunky. in there. Cool. Brass pile. This is absolutely plastic. See, I have a guard, Alex. That was actually clean, which is cool. Calling that one trash because it's not worth the fiddling. The swoop. We might just call this one dirty brass and be done with it because the the weight's not really there. Oh, you know what we do. Now these all get to go in their appropriate bins. Now let's dig into these bins. Give us a sec on that. So these things, yeah, good chance those are uh, all aluminum. They do have these brass things, but uh, those are going to be a pain to remove. 
Is it a brass chain? Well, we're gonna find out. So yeah, that actually is brass chain. If I had known that, I could have cut it a little more uh, helpfully. Decent. And just leave it there for now. Actually brass. Cool. Now these thingies I'd like to make into piles and then determine what the heck we're looking at. Big magnet. That's good news. Probably still stainless, but it uh, doesn't really matter. They're stamped with 304 on them, so you know what? We're going to go with that. These right here I am going to stash, because they look like they could be really useful. You never know. So these are going in the stash for later hardware pile. These are going in the uh, probably not worth picking the bits of brass out pile, i.e. the steel bin. This one's different. That one's different. So those do seem to be brass. And these also seem to be brass. Cool. That means that whole pile... That's all brass, fantastic. And the bin of stainless. Neat. So let's move on to something I'm fairly sure I'm going to hate. People say it's easy, real easy. Yeah, no. This is stupid. I don't know what you guys are doing to strengthen your wrists, but, uh... Keep doing it, I guess. Okay, I feel real dumb. I don't know how long that wasn't recording for, but we bashed out another one of these, got two really good-sized little silver nubbins, and, uh, smashed apart the interior piece of that thing. And we got... Four of these really quite good size silver buttons. But grabbing those nubbins seems like a perfect time to crack into this. This is the thing that the thing connects to. Hopefully, I don't embarrass myself by finding a pound of copper inside here. One battery. Four battery. You know how to test it. These are still good. That one's not. That one's pretty good. That one's weak. Oh, that one's quite good. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, you put your tongue on it and see if it shocks you. So we got one good nine volt. The big reveal. What's in this weightless plastic box? Oh my. It's not my fault, they changed the model. They changed the model, this is totally different, I swear this is not what I saw before. Is that a capacitor? That's a capacitor, and that's gotta be the fattest tantalum capacitor I've ever seen. 
<sighs> Making a liar out of me. Hilarious. I haven't thrown the others out. Well, I mean, I did, but they haven't been picked up, so I'll, I'll, I'll go get them. There, I went and got it. See, I'm not a total loon. This is a completely different thing. Nothing good in there. I mean, some will argue that, like, those chips are good. I get that. That said, I did find another one that I had thrown out. And from both of them, we got five grams of tantalum capacitors. Which, if these guys actually get what they're selling theirs for, this guy's asking 15 cents a gram, this guy's asking uh, 9 cents a gram. So basically that's 50 cents if they get what they, yeah. What, 50 cents for the biggest ones I've ever seen? These are nothing to get excited about. Now we know that. We're learning. I think it's still worth more than these transformers are. Easier to remove. And so that leaves us looking at this disgusting thing. First thing, pop out every single screw. What? Come on, you. Screw. Out you go. And then this thing, we try and bash out. Okay. Hmm. Well, now we know what that is. Cast aluminum. Fourteen. Is that a tenth of a kilo? If a kilo is eight dollars. It's like a dollar. This is the last item. For oh, Alaka, Shwoop. Nice piece of aluminum. That is also trash. I must be doing this wrong. Found it. Probably should have seen those in the first place. Wow. This one's actually loaded with aluminum. It's got a whole block in there. Poof, there. Got through it. And, uh,. Well, we got a bunch of pieces of dirty aluminum and uh, some nice pieces of uh, aluminum, but I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but we found a lump of gold. And it's right at the end of this rainbow. Yeah, these little pieces in here are uh, pretty heavily gold-plated, so I don't know how easy it's going to be to take them out. Um, but there's actually more than that. There's some gold switch contacts in this little thingy. Uh, and not to mention, we now have the most beautiful piece of milled aluminum I've ever seen. Look at the, the motion here. That's uh, part of how this thing works, but it's not... It's all one solid piece. It's just got enough points of contact milled to such close tolerances that it's able to move back and forth and... I might just keep it as a, a bit of a treasure because the 
the point of action actually has a steel cylinder wrapped around it. Strangely enough, there was another piece of steel that, um, it's so shiny. It's the same kind of, it's ferrous because it's very magnetic, but it's just so shiny I'm confused. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a pretty neat little bit. Now, this gold is not going to be worth any more than those tantalum capacitors. But it is fun to add something to the gold processing scrap, even if I've never actually done it and I have no idea how to go about it. Cool! Oh, where were those? Oh, and there was this brass rod as well. Cool. Maybe this works. Well enough. How do I know they're gold? Well, if they were brass, they'd just make the whole arm out of brass. Cool. Now some cleanup. And the rest is just a mess. I wish we could say, left it better than we found it, but I didn't have this big oil stain before. So the only thing that leaves us with now is a bunch of wire that deserves to be stripped and all of the other wires that have already been clipped. Probably not gonna do that for this run of the scrapyard. So I'll see you guys in the morning and I'll probably try and get it all loaded before you get here. Oh good, you're here. Perfect timing. I just finished loading up. We've got the aluminium, all the cast stuff and some dirty stuff. Threw in a bin full of wire. Uh, oh, and those copper aluminum radiators. Those are always fun. We got some stainless steel, the 304 and the 316. And then we tossed in that bin of uh, high quality copper windings out of that transformer, plus a bunch of brass. And just because we had a decent pile, some batteries. Honestly, this one should be a good one. I just got to finish calling the uh, scrap yards and see which one's going to offer me the best price for the most weight that we've got. I'm not going to check every single little thing. I'll let you know. And that other bin of wires, that's going to chill. It's going to have to be next time. Maybe I'll just get one of the kids to do it and let them have the money because honestly at this point I've spent enough time um, clipping wires and I'm honestly not sure it's worth it uh, I haven't actually done oh, maybe we could do a little video on that that might be worthwhile because seriously it it takes hours and I'm not really convinced the increase is worth it. I think it's like a couple dollars an hour. I know, I, I thought it would be more, but I kind of think a person might be better off just taking the number four price and not spending the hours and hours clipping them. I don't know, but that's a, that's a future video. Today, we're gonna go make some money. Ha ha ha, yes. I didn't bother showing the unloading because, yeah, you know, I'm not trying to, make this video unnecessarily longer plus I think it's just a little impolite to like show everybody's faces and you know these businesses don't super love you walking in and recording everything hopefully nobody's too upset about it but I think we should be happy with what we got today <laughs> we got a fistful of brown ones you guys want to go over it All right, this one was a pretty good one. Uh, I'll throw the receipt up for anybody who uh, wants to go through it in detail. But the pieces that stood out to me, uh, number one, number two, bare wire, that bin of copper windings from that transformer a little while back, almost 90 bucks. Now I did throw a couple small pieces in there in addition to that transformer, but that was worth more than I thought. So that added a lot to the total. And then the 316 stainless steel was $1.20 a pound, 50% more than the 304 stainless at 80 cents a pound. So it's pretty rare. It doesn't come up that much, but it was pretty cool to see. And then 50 bucks for the copper aluminum radiators. That makes sense. And then 50 bucks for that big old bin of insulated wire. They gave me number two. I was expecting number three grade on that, but what I wanted to point out there is just how much time it took me to fill that thing with little pieces clipping them. Now, 
obviously uh, things like extension cords and uh, vacuum cables and those things, it, it makes sense just to clip them at the time and they've got weight, but you probably saw me throwing out a bunch of pieces with little bits of wire on them. I don't think wire is worth quite as much as we might like to think. So, you know, I'm not telling anyone what to do, but uh, it's my opinion that it may be a bit overstated. And then the clean brass or yellow brass was the real star of the show, 260 a pound. We got almost 400 bucks for those bins full of brass. Now, those weren't just things that you saw me scrapping in this video, but co after collecting them for a while, that was the collection. I love brass. Uh, and then the dirty stuff was $1.90, so 70 cents a pound less. Obviously, much more worthwhile to clean it, but sometimes it's just not just doesn't work out. Either way, thanks so much for hanging out with me and checking out this video. If you took this as an opportunity to get some of your own work done, good for you. You earned a cookie. And if not, well, I'm glad we got this opportunity to hang out. So let me know what you thought. If we could do another one of these in the future, I'd be more than happy to. Like and subscribe for more scrap content and melting content. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.